Hey guys, this is Take It Out, and today I'm going to be showing you how to bypass iCloud activation lock on the iPhone 4 using my custom IPSWs. So just to show you that this phone is actually activation locked here. As you can see, there's no way to get around it. I don't even know the password or the account. I found this phone on eBay. So let's go ahead and get started with the actual process. Okay, so first you need to put your iPhone into DFU mode. Even if it's on the Apple logo screen, you just hold the power and home button for 10 seconds and then continue holding the home button until it connects to your computer. We are actually going to need a PC for this process to determine the model identifier since you cannot use iTunes since it is an iCloud locked iPhone. You will have to use a PC and use 3U tools, which I will leave a link in the description to download. Okay, so once you've downloaded 3U Tools from the website, go ahead and open it up and it should detect your iPhone here in DFU mode and it says iPhone 3 comma 3. That is what you need to know in order to determine, well this is the model identifier, so you, that's what you need to know in order to download the correct IPSW for your bypass because you have to download a specific IPSW based off which model identifier you have. I will be showing this process on Mac because I have all the stuff already on my Mac and in my opinion it's just easier and better to do it on a Mac but you can do the same process on Windows. Okay so as you can see my iPhone is connected in DFU mode so next you need to go to my website. The link will be in the description at takeitoutguys.wordpress.com and find the how to bypass iPhone 4 activation lock. So go ahead and download the IPSW based off which iPhone identifier you got the model identifier. So mine is a 3 comma 3. So I'm going to download this IPSW here, but I already have it downloaded as you can see in a folder here. And you're also going to need to scroll up then and go to the downloads and download iDevice Restore for Mac or for PC. You may actually be able to use an older version of iTunes to restore the custom IPSW as well, but if you're on a PC, you will have to use an alternative method to put it into Pwn DFU mode, such as the ones listed in the article like Red Snow or iReb or iFaith, something like that. Um, but for Mac, you are going to use iPwn DFU Master. So first, you're gonna just need to open up a terminal window and find your iPhone DFU master folder, CD space, and then drag it and click enter, and then dot slash iPhone DFU dash P and click enter, and that will put your iPhone in Pwn DFU mode, and you should get devices now in Pwn DFU mode. You can just ignore iTunes. Now, uh, with the iDevice Restore file that you need to download also for Mac or PC, it's the exact same method. Go ahead and drag the iDevice Restore file, type dash E, and then drag the IPSW that you download, and click Enter. And then wait on it to restore to your iPhone. Okay, so as you can see, the phone is booted up and it is completely bypassed. As you can see, we are in iOS. You can then proceed to go into your iCloud settings and sign in, use the App Store, do whatever. The only thing that I believe that you cannot do actually is use a SIM card since your phone technically isn't activated. As you see on my computer screen here, we still have the activation lock. So you can actually use 3U tools or iFun Box to install apps through a computer, but you cannot use iTunes, unfortunately. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like these. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.